viewer i hope you are all doing good so it's our third lecture of c trick net scalar adc mean the load balancer so today we are going to learn how can we download and install the c trick net scalar load balancer on vmware so let's dig into it so first we need to download this image so what we can write we write uh, c trick uh Citrix Netscaler download and uh, open up the download page and uh, we'll go back download virtual appliance so here is the latest Citrix ADC release 13.0 that we're going to download so we need to sign in first through download if you have account then it's well and good if you don't have then you need to create an account for ctrix.com so i have an account so i have you no know, click to ctrix yes now i have different options so what we can do we need a esxi version because we are going to install it on vmware so we can download it so we have different types of versions here but we can download the ESXi version so just click on it and then yes I accept <clears throat> and then I have read and accept when you click on the accept your download will be starting so it'll just like this so I have already downloaded it. I hope you get the point. I will attach the link in the description. So I have downloaded it already. So here this come. So what we need, we need to extract it. So for the extracts, we have different extraction tools, rare RAR tools like 7zip and WinRed. So you can use any of it and you can download it from the Google. So I extract it here. So here is it. It's extracted already. So what I can do, I am going to open my VMware. Here is my VMR. I have downloaded it. Now, what you have to go open a virtual machine from here, or you can go from here, open, and uh, let's move to the file location that I have extracted. Here is this, and click on this file and click on import. Now, it's important it the file to the VMware. So it is extracted now what i do i move to the memory and uh, 2 gb is enough but uh, i increase it to 4 gb because i i have the resources so i can give it so it depends on the working what you are doing on it and uh, on the network adapter i bridge it to nat and okay and then I power on it. Take some time to boot. So here is it. It's asked me for the IP4 address, mean management IP address. So I give it 50.1.7.2.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.
240 because my net network is 150.1.7.0 with class C I mean it's subnetted address 5255.0 and the gateway my on the my premises gateway is 150.1.7.1 .1 and then click OK and then uh, if I want to change IP address then I click one uh, select one and then if I want to change my net mask then I enter two and if I want to change my gateway, then I enter three. And if I want to save this setting, then I enter four. So I enter four and hit enter. Now let's wait. It also takes some time. let it do its work so now it's asking me for login so the default login is ns root hit enter and the default password is ns root mean login and password is same when i hit enter it's asking me for the new password and the new password is i have to set that Then I have to re-enter that and it done. So what I do is show interface. So it show me my interfaces and uh, I have these are the sh uh, show commands work there. And uh, if I so these are the command that I can run here. Okay, it's just, it's just a Linux base. It's a Linux based operating uh, like a, it's a based on a Linux. So if we, you want to enter on the Linux, you just need to type shell. So it is the Linux come. <coughs> now what we have to do is uh, if config I can if so it's show me my IP gateway and all the things is perfectly. Now I ping my gateway 150.1.7.1 and it's pinging. So it's perfect. Now what I have to do is access it from the browser. Just type HTTP double colon double slash. 150.1.7.240 and then I hit enter. So it's asked me for the username. Username is NS root and the password you have set it. And then I log in. So here we have login. If I click on the dashboard, so this is my not scalar it's working good and it look good so i hope you get my point and you will you have learned that how we can download and how we can install the citrix net scalar load balancer on the vmware workstation so thank you and don't forget to subscribe share and like have a nice day